Discover how the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund is accelerating cures. My name is Luis Garza, uh, and I am an associate professor at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine. We're trying to help the uh, about 2 million or so amputees in the United States, including a large proportion of which are, live in Maryland. We were really excited about the opportunity to try to help those in limb loss and help those the wounded warriors, for example, uh, where it's really inspiring to try to give back to the people uh, that have given themselves so much for our country. There have been tremendous advances in prosthetics and prosthetic design that have helped um, those with limb loss use their prosthetics more frequently, but they're still um, limited in their use because of pain and discomfort, um, and as well as skin breakdown that can occur because the skin at the stump site wasn't really meant to bear weight. The way we want to address this problem is by partnering with the Maryland Stem Cell Fund to um, try to use cellular therapy to help these people. The way our therapy works is uh, there's been a lot of really uh, important uh, basic science that's been done in developmental biology that defines uh, how our skin is different and, all, and our tissue is different in all the different places in our body. So for example, like you didn't think twice about putting on your shoes this morning because your skin is pressure adaptive at your feet. There's some a special cells called fibroblasts that are location specific and help to, in, to help to give the features of that tissue. When we have an amputee, we take a biopsy from any existing palm or sole and we carefully culture out the right cells that we think or help, help give that tissue its special friction responsiveness and pressure responsiveness. We grow them up uh, in a lab on, on, at the Hopkins campus. And then uh, we do a lot of testing to make sure it's safe based on rules from the FDA and our IRB. Um, and then we inject them back in the amputee. And the, yes, the idea is to inject them near sites that have had skin breakdown so that that skin can now be more firm and more pressure adaptive. We first started off with tests on normal subjects where we would inject cells into them and then do a biopsy to remove what we injected and see how it changed the tissue. And we did that uh, really carefully in about 40 subjects. And so based on those results, we've enrolled about four people with limb loss and we're just starting to now inject them with these cells uh, in hopes of really helping them and helping their uh, activities of daily living. And the idea is that by starting small with projects like this, we can build the, the field of cell therapy to think about you know, new therapies in the future for for cancer, for diabetes, for um, you know high high blood pressure, for all you know for the for the other medical problems that affect even more people in the U.S. We could not have done our work without the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund. Anything that requires a real breakthrough is risky and requires uh, time and investment. Um, and it's not it's not common that people can really give that investment, but. The Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund really tries to take the long view of saying, you know, how are we going to make Maryland a hub for tomorrow's medicine so that we can only not only help this, this, the citizens of Maryland, but also the economy of Maryland by, by creating us as, as leaders in the field that can be the medicine for not just even Maryland, not just the U.S., but even the entire world. Accelerating today's stem cell research into tomorrow's cures.